my channel and my name is Destiny if you're new here and if you're not new then yeah welcome back so if you guys cannot tell by the title I did this 90s inspired look like who doesn't love the 90s I know I do so if you guys want to get this look please stay tuned for my video don't forget to subscribe of course and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a video I do upload every single week so yeah let's get into this 90s slay. Alright you guys, so we are going to start this look off with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Now, shout out to Aaliyah's face on YouTube. She recommended this because this is actually a dupe of the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. And you guys, it goes on so well. Like, I love this stuff. And it's very affordable. It's like three bucks on Amazon. So yeah, now we're getting into some foundation. This is by CoverGirl, and it's the Matte Ambition, and I am in the shade Golden. And you guys, this stuff goes on so good. I love a good matte foundation because I do have combination skin, so whenever I can get a matte, I'm all for it. As you guys can see, I'm looking very blended, and it just works so good, and it's also very affordable as well. Alright, so time for some concealer, and as you guys know, I love the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm in the shade Fawn, but I'm also going to be using the Can't Stop, Won't Stop as well. And I want to say this is the shade Caramel or Golden. I'll have that in the description box down below. So let's just fast forward through this because you guys already have seen me do this several times. So I'm using my Real Techniques Blending Sponge. And I love these sponges. I use them every single time I do my makeup. Alright, so let's get some a powder done. We're going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me. And this is in the shade 3, 340. If I'm messing up on my shade, you guys, I am so sorry. I have so much makeup. Sometimes I just don't remember the shade colors. But, like I said, I will have all that in the description box if you guys would like. Alright, now I'm taking this Wet n Wild. And this is actually a foundation stick, but I like to use it as my contour. And this one is in the shade Chestnut. So I'm just going to put this all over my face. And super affordable. You guys know Wet n Wild is very affordable. So I want to say I paid 4 bucks for that at Walgreens. And look how it goes on. Y'all cannot tell me that it's, like, not a good one. Like, you cannot tell me. Because <laughs> look at it. Look at the coverage. For four bucks, it's a freaking still. And I always try to make sure I get the bottoms of my cheeks, the bottom of my chin. Just scope that out. And now let's go in on our nose. You guys see this? Like, it's the perfect shade for me. When I seen it, I was like, yes, I'm going to use this for a contour. Because, of course, the foundation would be way too dark for me. So, yeah, let's just sculpt this nose out. I love a good nose contour, you guys. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to take this powder brush. It has some excess powder on it, and I'm just going to sculpt out these cheekbones so we can look snatched. <laughs> Yes, cheekbones. Yes, life. <laughs> okay, so we're also going to be going in on the eyes. I'm going to be using this brown sugar palette. You guys know this is one of my favorites. It's the Karuchi and ColourPop collab. And we're going to be going in that shade right there, which is Saute. And I'm going to be putting this all over my crease. And as you guys can see, it's giving me a nice bronze. Like, it's not too much, but it's very subtle. But it's just really pretty. Because, you guys, the 90s glam is just, like, everything. So, I did fast forward through this because I didn't feel the need to have to slow this down. Because you guys have seen me do these this part several times as well. So we're just going to go in that shade Sorel on the lower lash line just to deepen it up a little bit. 
and we're going back in that shade again and we're going to put some of this right on the crease as well as the lid just to really give it like you know that smoked out effect so now as you guys can see i'm smoking it out a little bit going back and forth now i do switch from eye to eye you guys there's really no rhyme or reason why i do this i just kind of just like to work with two eyes at one time i know some people do one eye but yeah all right and i'm going in with this it's not by nyx it's by nyc yeah nyc and it's from walgreens as well and i'm gonna smudge this out with my flat headed brush and it's just a brown liner you guys and this is going to give it a nice smoke effect so i'm doing the same thing on this side and you want to get as close to the lash line as possible and then you want to smoke that out okay it's time for some brows you guys so this is my sonya kushak I don't even know how to say her name, you guys. The Sonya Kushak from Target. That's my brush that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to go in with that same brown liner that I used on the lid. And I'm just going to carve out my eyebrows. Now, I am trying to make them a little darker than I normally do. Because I feel like 90s glam. The eyebrows were really dark back then. So, yeah. Let's just carve these out as best as we can. And let's go back in actually <laughs> we're gonna use this one because it's just a little softer the Sonya Kushak one is really it's really stiff so this one is just a little softer on the hairs but still gives the same effect all right and I'm gonna be using this black radiance it is a brow definer and you guys when I tell you you're about to see it defines the hell out of the brows i mean look at that it's like better than any pomade but it's very pigmented so you do not need a lot of this stuff and it can easily go left if you guys i uh, use too much so you just have to have a very light hand when you're using this because the formula is very thick but look at the brow you guys it just came out so good so I did do some off camera as well. I cleaned it up off camera and I did my other brow off camera just because I didn't want to take too much time on brows. Because if you guys can see, I do have separate videos just for brows. So yeah, let's go in with this NYX. This is a um, concealer. And it's just a light shade. It doesn't really have a shade name. It's just really light. And I like to kind of carve out the lid as if we're doing a cut crease just to put a little primer on the lid. This is actually a correcting palette, but I just use it anyway. So let's take those two shades, Auburn and Saute, and let's just go right on the lid. Just to give it like a nice soft effect. Now we're going to take that Maybelline, that's the lash push up you guys, and this stuff works so good. Like I was contemplating like do I even need lashes? <laughs> but then I was like no, we're doing lashes. Okay, and I got my drink from Dunkin Donuts, my matcha. I love matcha, love, love, love matcha. <laughs> Okay, let's go in with these Mink 3D Hair Lashes. And I got those from Rose Hair when I bought some hair on their website. They sent me those for free, so they are really good. Now let's go in with this NYX Bronzer. And I will link the shade down below. All right, let's go in with some blush. This is the Juvia's Place Sahara and Blush Palette Volume 2. We're going to go in with that first shade. And let me find that shade for you guys because I always forget to link that down below. So I will tell you what the first shade was right now. Okay, that shade is B. And then the second shade I always use is Yara. Alright, so we're going to go in with some NARS. This is just a lipstick that I'm going to use. Oops, sorry about that, you guys. And this is called Pour to 
two hours to how I'm assuming it's French because I don't know how to say it, but it's just a mauve. It's a mauve mat. If you guys know how to pronounce it, please let me know because I know I just jumbled that. And we're also going to go in with some black liner because, you guys, I used to wear black liner all the time to middle school when I was younger. And funny story, I would always sneak and put it on. My parents would be so mad when I get home. They're like, why do you have that black liner on? <laughs> I used to wear it all the time. Okay, and we're also going to go in with this Anastasia. And it is a brown. Let me see if I could find that shade for you guys as well. I've had this one for so long, you guys, and it just works so good. All right, that one was in the shade Fudge. We're going to go back in with that NYX bronzer again. And we're just going to be putting this all over the cheeks. All right, so my favorite, of course, you guys know, it's the Master Chrome by Maybelline, the metallic highlighter. This one's in, in the shade Molten Gold. So I'm just going to be putting this all over my cheeks with my fluffy brush. And it just gives a nice glow effect. All right, you guys, so I think we are done. What are you guys thinking about this look? I freaking love it. And I got the shades to go with the whole look. So thank you for watching, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video, give me a thumbs up, and take care. Bye. Love you guys.